Welcome to another video, Cook Weights. And uh, it's about 5.50 a.m. right now, um, just woke up. And today's video, we're gonna be, you're gonna be following me from uh, morning till night, see what I eat in a day, uh, how I incorporate work and workouts and all the other things that go on in life. And so hopefully you guys can find this helpful. If not, maybe it will be uh, entertaining at least. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So we're gonna go meet my brother at the gym at seven. So we got about an hour, and I always like to eat about an hour before I work out. And so one of my go-to breakfasts in the morning, nice and quick, is um, got some ground turkey breast here that I cooked up last night. Uh, and just some everything but the bagel seasoning. So I'm just heating that back up and then I'm gonna throw in some liquid egg whites and some spinach for some greens. So we're gonna eat that to start the day and then uh, we'll head over to the gym. Let's go. For breakfast, like I said, we got ground turkey, Got egg whites, spinach. Um, I toasted up an English muffin, put a little bit of butter on it, just to get a little bit of carbs and a little bit of fat in there. And then uh, some cold brew, cause you know you gotta have some coffee. Not really feeling the hot coffee today. So going with cold brew, and of course, you gotta have some hot sauce. <music> So I want to give you a little quick summary of how the day is going to be. We're going to meet my brother at 7 a.m. Um, today we're doing a pull day, so we're going to do back and biceps. Um, and then we're going to work out till about 8.45 a.m. Then I start work at 9.30. So we're going to head over to work, 9.30. Um, I end work around 5.36. So after work, uh, we're going to come home, get ready, and then we're going to go on a run today. Um, probably about five miles. So we'll go on a run after that and then we'll have dinner and then we'll do some stuff at night to cap off. Um, but really guys, it's all about being prepared. And so when I know I have long days like this, which is five days out of the week, I can try to make sure I, I get unprepared. And that starts with the previous night. So I go to bed around 10, 10.30 if I can, wake up around 5.36. That way I get a solid about seven hours of sleep and you need that energy guys. You need sleep if you want to take on the day to the max. If you want to work out, go to your job, be productive and take care of other things that you have to take care of, you need to have that energy. And it doesn't just come from energy drinks. It starts with the night before with getting some good sleep. You need to get good sleep. <clears throat> and so... Being prepared, starting the night before. If you're like me, I'm not trying to cook every meal on the spot from scratch, um, especially during my work days. As you guys seen in my like Instagram videos, I do cook like pretty often, but like that's about 25% of the time of when I cook. The other 75%, uh, I'm really just cooking simple things, things that I can prepare ahead of time that are healthy, that are clean. I prepped that ground turkey um, last night so that as soon as I woke up, it's ready to go. I don't have to cook it up. It's all about being prepared. So, all right, enough about me ranting about being prepared for the day. Um, we're gonna, before we head off to the gym, we got about a half hour left. Before we head off to the gym, I actually have to uh, prep my lunch. The reason I'm preparing lunch right now is I have the gym's hours are different now. They open at 7 a.m. instead of 5 a.m. So uh, I'm gonna, after I work out, I don't have time to come home, uh, prepare lunch, and then head back out. I just take my clothes with me, I take my lunch with me, and uh, just have to go straight to work after the gym. So this is what is on the menu for lunch today. This is some white rice and some chicken breast that I cooked up last night. Super simple. And then I made a little like um, tomato, cucumber, and onion salad. 
a little bit of lemon juice, salt and pepper. And then I got uh, some store-bought tzatziki sauce made with Greek yogurt. Like you see here, all I did was prep some chicken, some rice, and I chopped up some tomatoes and cucumbers. That was it. And now I have enough meals for like the next couple of days, at least, at least for at least lunch. Um, and spice it up. That's why I got the tzatziki sauce, you know? If I just ate chicken and rice, that's so boring. But you throw in a little bit of lemon juice, you throw in a little bit of veggies, you throw in a little bit of cucumber, Greek yogurt, tzatziki sauce. We all set. All right, let's head to the gym. So guys, I got a, uh, I had no, no contact from my brother and it's 7.04 right now and I'm almost at the gym. I wanted to make sure he was awake. So uh, I gave him a call and my man's just woke up. Come on, Eddie. It's all right though, things happen. We wake up late sometimes. So we're gonna just probably do a little bit of stretching and some mobility while we're waiting on him. And then we'll hit, we'll hit the workout. What do you have to say for yourself? Late. <laughs> Just got done with our workout, guys. Was a killer. Did back, biceps, a little bit of uh, abs. And so now it's about uh, 8.41, 8.41. Gotta be at work by 9.30. By the way, guys, look at this awesome blender bottle that I got from BPN Subs. It's their go one more slogan, but got the white, the red accents man such a sick blender bottle love it we are in line at the starbucks drive through um, sometimes i'll do this i got a spinach feta wrap i'll do this when i don't have a post-workout snack um, prepped out i'll just get like a quick little snack on the way to work Sweet. Thank, you. thank you have a good day thank thanks So we are in the back of my trunk now and this is where this is my little uh, supplement station here as you guys can see and I'm always worried like people think I'm dealing drugs out of my trunk or something but nope just my supplements and so we're gonna make so I had enough protein from that spinach feta wrap on the way here so I'm not gonna take any um, protein powder or anything but I am gonna take my um, BPN subs, strong greens, get my greens in. And then I got some my collagen, genius collagen here. So I'm gonna mix those two. And guys, one thing I wanna emphasize is, like I said before, is just do everything with intent. Is it a hassle to bring my supplements in my trunk and prep my lunch to bring to work? Oh, yeah, of course, it's not like ideal. It's not the most comfortable, but it'll fuel me for throughout my day. It's gonna help me stay energized for my run tonight and stay eating healthy. So gotta do everything, have a bigger goal in mind and do everything with intent. You know, think about your goals, think about what you're trying to accomplish and then everything else will become not as tedious. So 
we're past security, about to head into work. I work for an artisan cheese company. We make our own cheese and we have five locations. And I manage our restaurant here at the airport. So that's what I do at work. And so, uh, yeah, getting it in. Got my Mediterranean chicken bowl all prepped out. And so I will see you when I'm done with work. Later. Uh, what is up, everyone? Wow, it's been uh, it's 5.37 now. Just ended work. It was a good day. Airport's pretty steady. You know, just grateful that I have a job. So, but yeah, feeling a little tired, but it is what it is. Plan is now to head home. And uh, it's actually a little hotter than I expected. It's like 88 degrees right now, which is like for Seattle is very warm. And so, uh, yeah, so we're going to head home and then got some other stuff planned. Uh, so, yeah, see you at home. Uh, look at this traffic, guys. It's normally not any traffic going home at this time since COVID. But uh, I don't know what's going on today. There's a lot of traffic. We are finally home, guys. Finally home. It is now 617. Um, yeah, there was like a huge accident on the freeway, like a semi truck and then the back of the semi truck like flipped over and the stuff spilled onto the freeway. And so uh hope everyone was okay. No one was hurt. Um, you know, me complaining about traffic, just first world problems here. I'm like, I wanna just get home and freaking go on my run you know it's like but you know it's actually really hot i wasn't expecting it to be this hot it's like 85 degrees right now i mean there is a slight breeze um but gotta do what we gotta do and one thing i really love about living here in washington and seattle is the sun is out until like nine o'clock even still like a peak of summer sun will be out till like 10 o'clock almost but now we're almost like end of July um, into August. It's still out up until about nine. Um, but it's awesome because, you know, I can get home at 6.30, uh, still like give it, have a little rest and then go on a run and it's still sunny out. And so that is awesome. So let's head inside and I'm gonna show you guys kind of how I prep myself before I go on my afternoon runs. Um, Cause you know, I don't wanna just go like get home chain and just go straight onto my run um, especially when i've been on my feet for like eight hours i plan my day so that i have energy so i have the fuel to run at night um so you know that's and because i really want to that's my goal my goal is to get better at running and have better endurance and so um i try to plan my day around that goal especially when it comes to my food um, my water intake, um, my everything, you know, as far as when it comes to my nutrition throughout the day, you know, I'm not going to eat like a giant burger for lunch when I know I want to go on a run that, after work, you know, so those kind of things, making the right choices to achieve your goals, even day to day, not just long term goals, but just day to day makes a big deal. So, all right, so enough of me ranting. Let's go inside. Um, it is now 6.30. It's still a little warm outside. So I'm gonna wait like 30, 40 minutes before I head out for my run. And so in the meantime, I'm gonna prep uh, dinner right now. I was gonna do it when I came back from my run, but I think since I have time, I'm just gonna do it right now. All right guys, so what I have cooking here for dinner is super simple. Um, in this left skillet, I got some Brussels sprouts that I bought from the grocery store. I already have them packaged, so I didn't even prep it or cut it or anything. It's all ready to go. Just dumped the bag in here with some avocado oil. And then I got some of this Louisiana Cajun seasoning. Don't knock the Cajun Brussels sprouts until you try them, guys. Don't knock it until you try it. All right, so then over here, I got some ground bison. Um, usually I do ground beef or bison. We eat the one, but this time I was just putting like some bison. So I'm just sauteing that in some avocado, avocado oil also, and then uh, that'll be dinner. What's up everyone? Uh, we are back and we are 
Uh, it's been a long day so far, but um, we're not done yet. We're almost there, but we're not done yet. Um, so just finished meal prepping my uh, post run meal. And so now before we head off on our run, um, I'm gonna do a little, rest a little bit more and do some mobility and stretching, loosen up some tight area. So what I normally like to do is um, use this trigger point ball to roll out the bottoms of my feet, get those loosened up. And then I'm gonna use a foam roller to, um, you know, get any tight areas on my legs, do a little bit of stretching. And then while I'm doing all that, I'm gonna sip on this um, G1M Sport. Um, if you guys didn't watch my last video, it's a supplement that I got from BPN Subs that um, is for endurance training. So it has carbohydrates, it has electrolytes, it has salt. So I'm definitely gonna need all that hydration and energy especially today because um, it's kind of warm. It's still like 80 degrees out right now. Um, so definitely gonna need that. So uh, yeah, let's get this done. guys see this like cool little makeshift hammock here it's like a hammock it sits on the ground so it's uh, perfect for like those summer days when you just want to lay down and do some reading or something because it has like this little roof on top so this blocks the Sun but you still get sunlight in between yeah so pretty pretty nice I would get one if I were you highly recommend <laughs> Ooh, what a run, guys. Uh, only five miles today, which is what we were uh, planning on going for. But man, felt really good though. First two miles, my legs were feeling pretty heavy. I think it's just because uh, it's been a long day and fatigued. But man, mile three through five, I was just cruising. Felt really good. Pretty just moderate pace today. like. 8 minute, 30 second mile per minute pace running at the end of the day and uh, I'm not gonna lie, I mean it's not it's not easy but you know when you you'd be surprised how much energy you have throughout the day when you eat properly, hydrate properly, sleep well the night before and just um, you know be efficient you'll be really surprised how much energy you'll have at the end of the day and uh, always you know always being in the sun like this gives you that extra boost of energy and you know you guys are probably wondering why uh, I'm always wearing a hat when I run and uh, honestly it's really because it catches uh, a lot of the sweat from dripping down to my face while I'm running and uh, keeps my head actually kind of cool these are like the Nike dry fit hats so it really makes my uh, keeps my head cool and I just like running in it so my hair is just not like flopping around everywhere while I'm running and also some of you might be wondering like why I run so much especially on days that I uh, already lifted in the morning and it's really because I just want to get a lot of mileage on my legs um, Sundays I usually reserve for long distance days so on the days during the week leading up to Sunday um, I try to really get some mileage on my legs and get used to running five six miles um, regularly because before I used to run five miles and the next day I would just be completely shot. Like my legs would be super sore, be really tired. But now when I run five miles, I feel good. Next day, fully recovered. And so just constantly running a lot of miles on my legs is boosting up my endurance and my stamina and really allowing me to run more often. Instead of running once, taking two three days to recover um so now i can run more regularly at full strength you know so gotta love the improvement and 
not gonna lie guys one of the benefits i love of running is i just love the feeling of being tired and pushing through and just constantly pushing and pushing knowing that like my body wants to just give out but mentally i keep pushing and that just overtakes whatever tie or fatigue i'm feeling and i finish that run there's no better feeling than finishing the day really accomplished so whew, excited i'm home now so i'm gonna go in and get some food guys all right guys just uh showered up and now we're eating dinner so we prepared before we prepared our ground bison and our charred brussels sprouts with the cajun seasoning and i put that over a bed of rice and so we're gonna eat that for dinner with some hot sauce of course but yeah and that is gonna be the end of the day um so after i eat this usually what i'll do is i'll probably go um do some reading i'm probably gonna start editing this video that you're watching right now um, check check up on emails um maybe watch some netflix you know rest a little bit and then uh right now it's about 8 30 so around 11 i'll go to sleep and then uh back to it all over again tomorrow guys and so it's a long day but uh i love it love it and um if you guys are watching this Appreciate you guys so much for following and watching this video. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you who watch my videos. And uh, stay tuned for more content and um, as we continue to work it out and improve every day. But yeah, thanks for following me throughout my day today. Hope you guys learned something, um, how to fit in, you know, work, workouts, eating healthy, all these things. If planned out and thought out it can be done guys and it's a lot simpler and easier than you think so yeah just gotta prioritize and really go throughout your day with intention but yeah thanks for following me today guys we'll see you in the next video peace out